assalamu alaikum rahmatullah today's lecture we are going to discuss the uh, zinc oxide nanoparticle synthesis through green mat method and particularly microbial synthesis of zinc oxide nanoparticle uh, since the microbes are very easily reproducible compared to plants because plants are not uh, needs a considerable efforts to uh, reproduce them and the extraction of plant is considerable time consuming and it takes a lot of efforts so um, microbes are easily reproducible it offers an advantage over plant uh, extract or plant synthesize plant extract synthesizing oxide nanoparticle in today lecture we are going to discuss about the synthesis of uh, zinc oxide nanoparticle by the utilization of microbial species and in particularly we can use uh, in 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 this group of uh, microbes we can uh, we can expect the utilization of uh, these kind of uh, microorganism let's suppose this is bacteria uh, this is antinomycis and fungi and yeast they all have attracted a considerable interest in synthesizing zinc oxide nanoparticle these organisms serve miniature nano factories where um, we have uh, some biomolecule for example enzymes protein and other <coughs> secreted biomolecule that are present in these microorganism they are basically um, helpful for reduction of metal ions they basically help to reduce the met metal ion and produce metal nanoparticle or metal oxide nanoparticle we look into details that how these uh, basically these bacteria or these microbes are helpful to reduce these nanoparticles moving on the formation of mono or poly dispersed nanoparticles with different sizes and shapes is attributed to the numerous organic compound released into growing media or suspension cultures so Uh, one thing that i want to emphasize that not all microbes are involved in the nanoparticle synthesis process because every microbe have a unique enzyme activity and metabolic process so you cannot say that every kind of microbe is utilized for nanoparticle synthesis you have to look into what kind of uh, a secret bio biomolecule that particular microbes have due to these properties um due to these properties the selective selecting appropriate uh, biomolecule or microbes sorry microbes is really uh, important because if you select or if you choose a wrong biomolecule for um, one particular metal or metallic oxide nanoparticle you cannot get your desired results moving on <clears throat> so in the second step in the first step we basically choose the particular microbes and that are utilized for the preparation of uh, nanoparticle in the second step after selection a part, uh, suitable microbe even uh, it is bacteria fungi or yeast or uh, any kind of uh, microbe after selection that particular microbe then you will choose or you will select a uh, metallic salt for instance if you are going to prepare a zinc uh, oxide nanoparticle then you have to choose a zinc salt so that it can it can be dissolved in water or it can its solution is formed in water so a zinc have multiple salt you can use zinc acetate you can use zinc chloride zinc nitrate zinc sulfate any kind of this metallic salt which upon uh, which basically give us a uh, this uh, metal ion when we dissolve in a uh, water or any kind any other solvent so after selecting this uh, um, salt you basically form the solution of this salt and um, at the end of the day you basically uh, mix this uh, salt with the microbes and these microbes basically which you have already chosen or already selected uh, try to reduce these metallic ion into metal or metal nanoparticles so 
these salt are typically provided as a soluble salt precipitate, precipitating in microbial cell suspension or it extract with bioactive components during the synthesis so the successful transformation uh, transformation is indicated by precipitation or white precipitate after uh, mixing these two solution basically you will get a transformation phase through which the reduction of these metal ion zinc ion take place and zinc metal or nanoparticle or zinc oxide nanoparticle are formed so how we you can uh, find or how you can identify that whether the uh, particular nanoparticle are um, going to form or not basically there is a one uh, color change or one physical indication which you can um, use for the for instance you have uh, if after mixing these solvent after mixing these two solution white precipitate or form white deposits are going to form at the bottom of the beaker when the, once the synthesis process is complete the mixture contain microbial cells and zinc oxide nanoparticle uh, you know that you have a uh, when the this process is complete in the beaker you will have both of these entities both of these microbial cells and zinc oxide nanoparticle they are separated using various technique you can use centrifugation you can use filtration or calcination all of these processes are basically utilized to separate these zinc oxide uh, newly synthesized zinc oxide nanoparticle from these microbial cell in addition to obtain white crystalline powder zinc oxide when you get these zinc oxide nanoparticle uh, when you pass through these uh, processes for instance if you are utilizing centrifugation process or filtration you will get these zinc oxide nanoparticle then you will dry it in hot air oven for an extended time uh, uh, at uh, 60 degree celsius temperature after being completely washed with distilled water after that uh, ethanol is used to remove any contamination present in these particles. Ethanol is an organic compound which is really helpful to remove any contamination present in these zinc oxide nanoparticle. As you know that zinc oxide is stable and it is neutral um, and it do not react with ethanol. So different uh, physiochemical method characterize the synthesis of nanoparticle. There are uh, various techniques that are utilized uh, for the uh, characterization of these newly synthesized uh, zinc oxide nanoparticle. Now we will uh, quickly look into a flow chart in which uh, uh, is uh, this whole procedure is summarized. So this is that particular flow chart I am uh, discussing about. You have these uh, microbial entities for instance we have a bacteria, we have fungi, we have yeast and we have antino uh, my seeds. These microbes are utilized for the. So these are the microbes which are utilized for the synthesis of zinc oxide nanoparticle. No, these microbes are utilized either intracellular or extracellular synthesis uh, synthesis of uh, zinc oxide nanoparticle. When you mix both of these microbe and zinc uh, acetate or zinc chloride uh, solution. Uh, you will get this one addition of zinc precursor when you add zinc precursor into this uh, uh, solution you, uh, in, in microbial beaker uh, in the beaker where microbes are present then these basically zinc oxide are attached with these uh, different kinds of uh, uh, biomolecules that are present in these uh, in this beaker so these biomolecule basically um, are helpful to uh, reduce this zinc ion and this zinc ion is transformed into zinc oxide nanoparticle so after formation of after uh, this uh, when this process is complete the reduction of zinc ion is uh, taken place then we will get this result these are basically uh, zinc oxide reduce zinc ion and uh, this reduction is taking place in the presence of these um, microorganisms so uh, you will see that these are zinc oxides uh, nanoparticles and these zinc oxide nanoparticles are um, separated from this uh, uh, 
uh, solution through centrifuge or uh, filtration and finally we, you will get you will dry it and get the required result thank you so much if you do not s 